drama in D.C. surrounding the immigration showdown. The government was ordered to have all separated families reunited by now. But the government is trying to get someone else to do it. Our Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo, he's all over this at the White House with the latest. Well, Louie and Lori, a federal judge has ruled tonight that the Trump administration must reinstate the DACA program, and they're giving them 20 days in order to do it. Meanwhile, a different federal judge tonight is blasting the administration after it tried to get an outside agency, the ACLU, to reunite those separated immigrant families instead of doing it for themselves. Families being separated. In the wake of the president's immigrant family separation policy, with 572 children still in custody and 410 of their parents deported, the Trump administration actually asking the court to have a non government group, the ACLU, use its considerable resources to reunite the families after the government failed to. The government doesn't have a plan. The government's shifted the responsibility to us. A federal judge firing back, saying it's the government's sole responsibility and burden to reunify the families. Reunification that Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar had dismissed as easy. With just basic keystrokes within seconds could find any child in our care for any parent. His seconds, though, have turned into months, with kids waiting out every failed keystroke in custody. Meanwhile, Manhattan Madam Kristen Davis meeting with special counsel Robert Mueller's team. Investigators interested in her ties to longtime Trump advisor and South Florida resident Roger Stone. Stone has said Davis has nothing on him. And just days after the president tweeted that Attorney General Jeff Sessions should stop the Russia investigation, former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer contradicting him. Do you think that the Mueller investigation should be able to continue to its conclusion? Yeah. And after the president's continued attacks on America's constitutional free press. The fake, fake disgusting news. Spicer Sorry. suddenly joining Trump's own daughter Ivanka. No coming to the media's defense. I think that any democracy, especially ours as the beacon of democracy throughout the world, needs to have a free, fair, and robust press corps. Sean Spicer is making the rounds, trying to sell that new book he just wrote. The reviews, by the way, so far have been mixed. Pronounced very late from the White House. I'm Ross Palumbo. Louie and Lori, back to you.